If you've never worked with a public speaking coach before, you may be wondering what the sessions involve. You may be imagining that it's just like at school where you're made to stand up the front and recite something until it's perfect and then I'll point out everything that's going wrong. That couldn't be further from the truth. The majority of my work as a public speaking coach is listening, is listening to my clients. And you'd be amazed at how much my clients give away, uh, both about the nature of, of the issue they come to me with, but also with the answer. You are all so close to the answer and my job is really to help you uh, go that final final step, discover what the answer is and it's always within your gift to address it. And the question that I've had in today's is just a perfect illustration of this. The question's from Maria, so thank you very much Maria for this. And Maria asks, how do I stop my voice from shaking when I'm not totally confident about what I'm saying? Okay Maria, fantastic question. So you've identified that your voice is shaking and it's shaking when you're not fully confident about what you're saying. Now, Maria, I know you a little bit, but I can't, can't read your mind. So I'm going to take an educated guess based on my experience of what's going on here. Um, you're not confident about what you're saying and that's triggering a shaky voice for you. And I would venture that perhaps you hold an unconscious belief about yourself that you have to be right all the time. Now we all store unconscious uh, beliefs in our minds that we have picked up along the way, usually in childhood, and beliefs can be right and they can be wrong. And if we store an incorrect belief in our unconscious mind or an unhelpful belief, we can carry that through into adulthood and it can make itself known at times when it's not helpful to us. Now something may have happened to you Maria in the past that has made you believe that unless you're right about something you should be quiet. And it's very interesting how this is manifesting this itself in your life as an adult because when you feel that you're not totally right about something, that you're not 100% confident about something, your body physically tries to stop you speaking by making you shake. This is called the cybernetic loop. That's a term you may hear neuroscientists and psychologists use. The cybernetic loop is the loop that exists in all of us between our mind and our body. So if you think, for example, about walking down the street, when you walk down the street, you are, yes, putting one foot in front of the other, but your brain is constantly receiving input from your ears, from your eyes, from the feeling of the ground beneath your feet. When you see someone approaching you, you move out of the way almost automatically. That's because there is a loop of communication happening between your body and your brain that enables you to walk down these streets without fear of road rage <laughs> because you know what to do when you encounter somebody else walking along the pavement your brain automatically talks to your body and decides what to do and uh, we can use this to overcome this problem uh, that you're experiencing at the moment so right now your mind is saying to you you don't know everything about this subject Maria therefore don't talk and I'm going to try and stop you talking by doing something to your voice and doing something to your body to make you shake and feel the very real sense of danger about this. So what we need to do is challenge that thought in your mind. We're going to challenge that belief. So we'll just start by thinking, is this true? Is it true that I should only speak when I know I'm 100% right about something? Or actually, is it okay if I speak anyway? Isn't the reality that nobody knows everything about everything? And it's okay to be wrong? And it's okay to make mistakes sometimes. So the first step in this, Maria, is I'd like you to think about this. Is it true that you should only speak when you're 100% right about something? And when you've thought about that for a while, the next stage is to write down on a piece of paper for yourself the following words. I don't have to be right all of the time. It's fine. For me to express my opinion. Other people value my unique experience of the world. If you write those sentences down, write them down by hand on a piece of paper and keep referring back to them daily. 
and I'd like you to read them out loud to yourself. If the wording isn't quite how you would put it, that's fine. Write it in your own words. The important thing is that you come back several times a day, perhaps when you brush your teeth in the morning or when you brush your teeth again in the evening and read those sentences aloud to yourself, basically so that you get into a routine of reading them to you. So what we're doing here is we're going to try and challenge your unconscious belief that isn't serving you very well when you're speaking and replace it with a, a, a fresh belief that it is okay to speak even when you're not 100% sure that you're right. Keep doing this, it is a piece of work for you, it is homework, but keep doing it and when you replace the current belief that you have about yourself at the unconscious level with this, this new belief, this revised belief, you may find that the shaking stops because your brain is no longer sending a message to your body that what you're doing is dangerous or putting you in jeopardy. And you may find that you're allowed to speak and you don't shake anymore.